Make the most of it, right? I don't, I don't really have anything else to say besides, um, I know it's gonna be challenging, and that's it. Go ahead, my friends. You have two ways to do this workout today. You can go for speed, because it'll be timed for the first um, part portion, or you can go for strength. So you have to decide. It does not necessarily matter. It just depends what your goals are. Um, are you trying to build that strength and really kind of just see that muscle definition? Then we probably should slow it down and try to go a little bit heavier. Those are my goals right now. So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm going to be moving a little slower. Dan, um, what are you doing? Heavier? Go yeah, for it, go for it. Um, as you know, with a shorter workout, really make that workout everything you've got and get the most out of it, right? Let's work smarter. Yes, yes. Okay, my friends. So let's go ahead and let's just start with a little warm up. Let's just go ahead and get a few air squats, right? Just kind of dropping those hips right into it. Yes, pushing back. You really want to pull back with that tailbone, collapse at the knees, keeping that body just slightly hinged so you can really activate those glutes. And as you press up, go ahead and squeeze your quads. Push the floor. Yes. All right, come up to standing. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of Jane Fonda's going on. Just reach across. Nice, reaching and up, reaching and up. Pushing behind those knees, right, where it's a little bit sticky. Doesn't necessarily feel awesome just yet, but we'll get you there, I promise. So our first circuit today is lower body focus. Second circuit, upper body focus, but you know as with these full body shreds, I have a few combination moves thrown in there to really activate everything. All right, come center. Let's just go and hinge over at the center, pulling those hips back, back, back. Take it down to the floor, drop it. Ooh, top of the head to the floor, kind of swinging. And I'm gonna step out just a hair and I'm gonna go to the right side and then switch to my left. Just pushing in to my hips. Yes, you can hold a static hold if you'd like. You can just kind of bounce back and forth like I'm doing. We're sliding. Nice. All right, I'm gonna slide over to my right side from here. I'm just gonna turn it over. I'm gonna get a nice, beautiful runner's lunge. I'm gonna drop that knee, lean up and stretch. Yes, I'm not gonna hold it too long. I'm gonna come up, straighten those legs, drop the chest, and take it back down again. Lifting, reaching, and Back down, straight legs. Woo. Yes, I'm getting more of a flow to the stretch to really activate. And nice. One more time. Reaching. Down. Left, left. Nice. Let's come to the side. One more good side stretch. And shift into the other side. Let's take it over. Nice, beautiful, long runner's lunge. Drop that knee. Lift up. Stretch and take it down. Straighten out those legs. Oh, this is my sticky side. It definitely feels really tough. Whew. The thing about stretching feels awesome, except for at the end, right? When your muscles are super, super warm. Nice, drop it down again. Stretch. Take it up. You know we're gonna go for one more. Nice, even four on each side. Push for it, come to that side stretch again. Come center, let's toe heel it in, and let's round the back and extend the back. Nice. All right, I'm coming all the way up. I'm gonna get my arms involved, swinging just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take one up, one down. Yes, all planes of motion. Yes, put a little extra emphasis on it and really push that range of motion. All right, I'm gonna take another, hold it. Oh, stretch. 
stretching and switch. Nothing's held very long. All right, I wanna get my quads up real fast. Just a nice stretch. All right, my friends, we start with some big range of motions. You've got three rounds to go for this. So with that being said, rounds two and three are probably gonna be a little bit better than round one, right? Your body kind of gets acclimated in round one and kind of figures out what's happening. Um, we are gonna work for 30 seconds. Uh, with that 30 seconds, like I said, you can go for speed or you can go for strength. I'm going for strength today, so my 30 seconds won't be super fast. I will not get high reps in, but I'm gonna get quality, heavy reps in. All right, so we will need weight for an overhead lunge. You're gonna hold same arm as the same stationary leg, okay? So from here, arm is either gonna be up or here. We're gonna do the other side, then right from that other side, we're gonna go across, okay? So we're gonna work all <laughs> areas, right? Um, and then from that, we'll go into a body weighted gym. So our first one's body weighted, the middle ones are weighted, the third, the uh, last one is body weighted. All right, eight seconds. We start out squat kneeling to a jump squat. And when we come up, let's use our force and get our arms to help take us up. It goes down, down, up, and pop. Nice. Land soft. Use your force. Get on up. Yes. Take those arms. Swing them up from the bottom. A lot of times we take our arms and we swing them down to push. I want us to use the power to propel us away from the floor. Come on. Chest is up. All right. You've got 15 seconds. That's nice. Usually they're 30 tenths. Okay. Um, I'm going to go right arm, right leg. I'm going to use 20s. Let's go. Arm is up. My right leg will stay. Left leg moves. Let's go. Back and lower. Nice. Find a focal point. I need you to focus. Yes. Remember, if your weight is not heavy, you'll be going a little bit quicker than me. If that's too much, right here, my friends, okay? This is your option, Whew. and you just have to fight for that balance. Nice, did you have a few reps that were super challenging? Maybe your balance wobbled? I know I did. What are you using just for reference? 30. 30, all right, that just gives you an idea of kind of where we're at. All right, other side. Let's go. Remember, our strength is going to be individual and to whatever you do, okay? I just want to give you a reference so you kind of have an idea of thinking, well, if that girl can do it, maybe I can do it. I love when people tell me the weight they use because it makes me push harder. It makes me try just a little bit more. Oh, nice, okay. My side lunge reach across. I'm gonna go up, I'm going to 30s. These are gonna be challenging. It's gonna obviously slow me down. I'm going to my right side first. Three, two, one. Take it across and bring it back. I want you to sit down and hinge and reach. Arm can down the hip, arm can be out. Chest needs to be lifted and you are hinging at the hip not breaking at the spine. Yes. Beautiful. How is it? Is it hard? I hope so. Nice. Woo. Oh. Going up in weight right here. Super hard, okay? That's what I want. I want you guys to make this workout effective for you. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and push. Nice. Do not forget to breathe. Reaching across and up. Reaching across and push. Come on. Yes, okay, body weighted. Oh, the upper spicy 
jump lunges. Ah, plyo lunges, whatever you want to call them. We're going to rotate. If you can't do a jump in them, you do quick reverse lunges. Let's go. One and two. And I like to just have a focus and just kind of zone in to the place where I know I can survive, right? I'm not going too fast, but I'm faster than comfortable. That's that little trick. Faster than what you really want to do, right? Come on, you're hinged over just a hair. Put a little more work in the glutes. Yes. Okay. There's only 15 seconds. Down, down, squat, hop, and remember. Let's lift. Lift that body in five. Ooh. Ready? Let's go. Down, up, power. We start and land in a squat. Come on. Absolutely perfect. Come on. Come on. on the other side. If the drill drop hits, I'm going to finish it off. I've got that time. Three, two, one. And if you can tap your back knee, that's what you go for. Nice. Press up through the front leg. choices. The 
Only twist you don't get to do. Stop it. <laughs> get it, get it, my friends. Woo. Okay. The sweat is real. I am dying. Hear that heavy breathing? I don't want to work out long all the time, but I want to work out hard. Let's go. Down, up. Woo! Spicy, spicy! Ha <laughs> ha! Come on. Alternate the leg you take down first. Perfect, my friends. You're killing it. Beautiful. Catch that breath. Okay. Oh, I already said this is my weak side first. I've got to pick it up. All right, come on, girl. I can do this. So can you. Get it. Yes. Woo. Come on, find that balance. Yes, I added two, I'm so proud. Proud to say I added those two. And I felt like I was trying really, really hard. Okay, just so you can see my form. Come on. Yes, come on. Ugh. Woo! Get it? Ugh. Push. Ugh. Oh, yes, I matched them up. I'm super, super proud of that, okay? You should be proud of what you just did too. Oh. Maybe you went up the weight. I'm so proud of you. Just so you know, that is exactly what I want. I want you to constantly be in that challenged zone, okay? There's a comfortable zone, there's a speed zone, and then <laughs> there's like all out, I don't know if I have any more to get, okay? That's what I would like. Push these beautiful legs. Oh, come on. Push, collapse, pull back, and push. Yes. Oh. Oh. Ooh -wee. <laughs> we are like spicy hot tamales right now, and I know you are too. Let's go. Down and push. Sit back, press through that leg. Come on. You're not lifting until you have fully given it a press. Come on, press away. Beautiful. Fight for it. Come on, come on. Maybe this is the hardest thing you do today, and I'm so proud of you. Yes, okay. Whew. One more. Jump lunge. Okay. You got this. You are amazing. Let's kill it. One and two. One and two. Come on. Bigger, deeper, more core strength. Fight for it. Ten. Get it. Two, one. <sighs> Walk it out, my friends. You need to catch your breath because what I've got next, well, I would love to say it's going to be doable or reasonable. <laughs> this is not reasonable today. Why? Because I wanted to keep the workout shorter, okay? 
there are days when we don't want to spend an hour, okay? You should never feel obligated to perform a 60 plus minute workout. Your diet <laughs> needs to be looked over and your sleep, if you are feeling that you need that long of a workout in order to see any results, okay? That's for a whole nother topic. I just want you to know, diet, sleep, hydration are the ground floor of training, okay? Ground floor, you guys probably get sick of me saying all these things, it's so true, right? So true. Ah, all right, you guys, we have the mother load. I'm scared, I'm scared. I have already committed myself mentally to using 20s, okay? I am personally gonna use 20 pounds. I suggest <laughs> you can do one round lighter and you can get your form intact, okay? From that, that first round, you need to evaluate how your muscles feel, and man, I guarantee you are going to be picking up heavier weights. And if you are not picking up heavier weights, you are adding extra reps. We go five rounds, five reps, I've got three moves, okay? It is super easy to change it, five rounds, eight reps, five rounds, 10 reps, four my friends, five reps, and reps, okay? There are ways to make your body push. All right, here's what's gonna happen. We do five upright reps. They need to be good. We are not swinging, we are not pulling our bodies crazy. We are going to make a side V and release. We are going to take our core. Ladies, we're not gonna let those uh, ribs flare and the hip tilt forward. We're gonna tuck it in. We're gonna soften those knees. We're gonna make that spine completely stacked. And we're gonna pull through the delts, the front delts, the chest, the traps, the lats, okay? You're using it all. Five. From that, we do a squat clean and press. It is actually two squats, all right? Because we need to press from the bottom today. I want it big. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna clean, power back down. Okay, did you see that? Clean, push. I come up for power and I push again, okay? So it's a half squat to a power push. That is one. You have five. Then. Then we do bear row, bear row, walk it out, push up, walk it back, bear row, okay? If you have round weights and you do not like to walk it out, I suggest you just give me 10 alternating rows. Give me 10, so that'll be five per arm. And then at the last one, shoot your feet out, hand on the floor, give me a push up. It would look similar to this. If you have a rounded weight, you'd be here. One, one, you go for five, then at your last one, that would be one set, okay? Rounded weights are just a little dicey unless you have a setup to figure it out for yourself. Please just be here, okay? That's it. I can't see you, so I can't protect you. <laughs> I love you, and I just want you to be safe. Okay, here's the deal, five, 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 Five times, ready? Game busters, there is no break, it is on you. How about, do not drop those weights. Let's go for five. Five. All right, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna curl. Three, one. Oh, my knees. 
trust myself without waving my sweat. Okay? Round two.
Go. Functional and healthy. Um, I always tease 
people and say my workouts are keeping us getting in and out of our cars nice and easy and in and out of bed, right? Those are probably the two things we do the most. Um, but if you think about it, if those two things bother you, you will think about them all the time, right? When you have to get out of bed, you have to push yourself or your core can't support yourself or in your car, you have to like yank yourself in or when you sit down, you have to adjust yourself 10 times to try to get your body situated to feel uncomfortable to sit in that position. Those are things that, um, that will weigh on us. And you know what? When those things bother us and they bother us a ton, they start to sit into your brain sadness will set it. So let's take one thing that you do a ton of times a day and let's make it easy, right? Right, all right, my friends. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and my personal, personal favorite, share. Share your workouts. If you had fun doing this, I guarantee you have a friend that might need a little bit of a mood boost and a challenge, and you might text them and say, hey, try this workout because I use these weights. Can you beat that? And you know what? Encourage them to beat you. You don't need to be the best in the room. But you know what? You can have the best attitude in the room. And that speaks for volumes. So you guys have the best day. Stretch some more. Um, add another video on. Repeat this. Keep going. Do whatever makes you happy. And you guys, mwah, mwah, I appreciate you. I love you more than you can even understand. And have the best rest of your day. Drink that water. And I will see you at the next workout. Bye, guys.